Hi everyone, Married Espresso Press Design. Welcome to my little channel and thank you for stopping by. I'm doing an extra video this week for a request um, project of uh, hidden paper clips. And so I'm going to dispense with part of the usual. And um, I'll do my thank yous and all of that tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you um, a new product. Um, what is it? Christmas florals. And this is just collage paper. Different backgrounds, different florals, different words, music, and it is um, five pages. So, lots of fun for tearing and all of that. And um, I just wanted to read you a little part of the poem that. Um, I put in one of the backgrounds and this is from Christmas Carols 1860 um, and this poem is entitled Snow and I just thought it was really pretty it's like four pages and I'm just going to read one little paragraph for you snow is falling gently falling on the silent wearied city falling ever in its pity striving ever all to hide Still it falls unceasingly with its misty, silent tide, with its white and flowing tide. I thought that was quite lovely. The whole hymn is quite lovely. So that's um, in Vintage Supply Company on EspressoPressDesign.com. And the other, this is on Etsy. So... Today I'm going to do um, hint paper clips, and I showed these last time. So what you'll need are some paper clips and a demonstration. I've done them in different sizes, so of course you'll understand how you can modify that once you get the basics. So you're going to need three strips, and I chose, I'm going to do this one again, and these are two and a half by eight. So you need three strips, two and a half by eight. These are three by six, and I have three strips, three by six. And then your um, little decorations, pockets, front pocket, back pocket, um, elements to put in the pockets. You're just going to have to measure on your own, but this one in particular is two by three. Um, this little pocket is three and three quarters by about by one and a half so that is a measurement or you're going to have to eye up or figure out on your own so there's that so I saw this in two different places and I um took a little from each. So you're just going to fold one in half, all of them in half actually. And I, um, I particularly liked one. Um, because of what she did with the paper clips. 
but it was one of those um, I saw this from a uh, Now I'm going to, I'm trying to make sure that, okay, I can, if you have directional paper like this, remember to, um, I might not even decorate the back of this one. Remember to make sure, because you're going to be putting them like this, so remember to make sure your paper is going in the direction you want. So then you're going to fold this one as well, and a little tiny bit of it might be showing it out the top. And if I remember correctly, they said this third one, it doesn't matter what type of paper, but I'm still using a white cardstock. So this is going to go on top of this. Oh no. And that's going to be upside down. I have to fix this somehow. How am I going to fix this? Okay, maybe I can't use this paper. <laughs> okay, let me think a minute. It should be able to work. But now it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because I'll be putting these two together. And then that will be upside down. Okay, plan B. I should have folded that before I chose that paper. Um, okay. I guess I'll just be having a black background. I think, or I'll be cutting new paper. Sorry. I knew there was a, um, okay. I'll just be having a back, black background and I'll be putting my two sides together. That's okay. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. That's okay. I didn't, that was a big full sheet of scrapbook anyway, and it wasn't going to be used for anything else. So I'll just do that. I still don't understand. Yeah, okay. So, the cool part that I liked, she took a little paper or punch, and you're going to put two notches. You're going to be using two paper clips. Two little notches. Get that along some black there. Two little notches. And then you're going to slide your paper clip. So it's down into that notch.
There we go. I think I'm going to turn that around so my short side is on the front. Not that it matters, doesn't matter. Okay, and I think this, so you see, they're down into that little notch a little bit. I think this um, is helping the stability. In addition to the three pieces of um, cardstock is also helping so there's there's no warping there's none of that funkiness going on in addition the front is decorated the paper clip slid up And I'm trying to make sure my paper is even before I glue it here. So that's part of it. Okay. And then if you want, you can put a little X here. To remember that your top and you're not going to be gluing that I mean you are but you're going to be gluing it like a pocket and then this piece goes over here so that you can form the back of your pocket and this is what you'll be gluing to the um, base. Okay. Of course. I have a gloober. Come on. No, now you're flowing like a river, of course. So you're going to be, make sure that's lined up nicely. And you're going to be gluing that entire face. And then you're going to be gluing this entire face. Trying to keep everything nice and even here. And then this is the part you're going to be gluing up. For your pocket. So you're going to be gluing that. You're going to be gluing that like a pocket. And I'm not going to bother with the bottom. Well, I think I'm going to notch. just for just because it's black I don't know that anyone actually notched these actually I think I'm gonna notch at the edge
I saw someone doing that and it's a new cool thing because you just have to line your notch up, your punch up to the edge. So there you go, see? So I'm just going to glue on each side here. And remember, this is going to be a um, tight pocket. So I'm just going to make sure that's nice and secure for a second. We're going to glue the other one. Put a clip on there. And then I'll measure and cut some uh, decorations here. So I have a little pile of stuff bag, some paper, of course that's up to you. I'm probably going to cut this up. This is one of those things in a, um, uh, I think I got that at Michael's. So this is four by two and a half. So I'm probably going to go to two and what is it? Seven eighths. By Three. Yeah, this one was three. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing. One person had the, I can't remember if both people had these opposites. So one is going this way, and then one is going this way. If that's something that matters to you, you might want to keep that in mind. So that should be good. Let me get this other pocket glued up here and then we can quickly decorate. But this is, um, now oh, this is coming out like a river. This is, um, probably my new favorite way to make a hidden paper clip. even with no decoration on there. There's virtually no warping. I'm probably going to have to hide that little edge there with some ink because my paper shifted or a gold pen or something. 
Okay, what else can we put on there? Have all kinds of little pieces here. Um, let's see. I have these little things from an advent calendar. That's probably going to get tucked in. Um, let me see. What do we want to put on there? I have some tiles. Yeah, those are cute. Now I'm going to use that for a tag if it'll fit. Um, okay, let's just go with a couple little stamps here. I had one sitting here yesterday. Just chop that off. Then little something something. Oh, I have these. might work. What are these? I think they're stickers. Yeah, they're stickers. Uh, I don't know about that. Some little bits and pieces here. That's cute. Another one last night. Where'd you go? That's cute. And some little button thing. I'll make that in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to ink that. Where are we? 25. Okay, so I'm going to notch this This is the Which one do I want on the front? Make this the front. So I'm going to notch this up at the edge and one person put a back on her front pocket and one person didn't. So I'm going to leave that up to you whether you want to do that or not. And then I'm going around three edges. Of course you can decorate yours however you want. You can use fabric. You can use pockets. But that was what was kind of cute about these was all of the pockets and I think I'm going to slide that over so 
so that I have um, I can put a tab and then again remember um, so I don't know if it I don't know if that comes out opposite just because you're automatically flipping. I'm telling you, I'm directionally challenged. When I have to assemble a one page wonder or something, I have to watch these. I have to watch those videos ten times to make sure I'm folding in the right direction. I am directionally challenged. One time I got lost at the mall. And the sad part is I wasn't five. I was 24. I kept, um, I kept going out to the wrong, en I kept going out of the wrong entrance in the parking lot. And I thought my husband-to-be left me stranded. And it was two hours later, and he came in the mall like ten times looking for me, and I kept going out the wrong end of the mall to the wrong parking lot. No, I'm not kidding. I wish I was kidding. Okay. Yeah, this is the front, so I think I want this on the front. Oh, when I, I have some kind of bad news. My, um, my young adult best friend died. I had a dream about her a day before, or maybe like a, maybe two days before. She had Huntington's disease, so she had been suffering for many years. It was terrible for quite some time. She'd been in a nurse nursing home, couldn't couldn't talk, couldn't swallow, couldn't walk. Of course. And her mom, her husband had it, her son had it, her mom nursed her son till the end, but now she's pushing 90, so she can't do that anymore. And a nephew, my friend's nephew had it, so a grandson had it. And my friends, two children have it. So um, she buried her husband, two children, one grandchild, and she probably won't live long enough to see the end of the other grandchildren, but um, Oh, this is why the person put a back on this is because she made another pocket. That's why. So I'm going to put both videos so that you can see as many variations as possible. Now I have to listen. 
these top pockets are really tight when you're starting. So I'm going to have to put something in there and loosen that up. So, um, there's, there's no, um, there's going to be a memorial service at a later date. Hopefully, um, it's not because someone else, like her mom, is in ill health. But we don't live in the same place anymore, and I rarely go there. Though I do keep in touch with her mom at Christmas. And she sends me, I send her a card. And sometimes she sends me a card and lets me know what's going on. Come on, what's going on here? So I had the dream and I woke up and I was immediately I wondered wondered and partly feared and then I saw it in the paper. But boy we sure tore up the town back in the day because we were, you know, teenage 20s, that era. And she, um, she was a very talented cake decorator. She loved to cook. commercial cook. So she worked in bakeries when she could work. Okay, so there's two decorations in there. I should put something with a back, but I'm not going to. I just want to put a little um, button on the front. Uh, do I want it that big? Probably not. And then my other friend was in a car accident shortly after Halloween. I forgot to tell you that. Broke his back and got a concussion. But he's home from the hospital now, so thank God. But when he was, he lives a couple hours away. When he was telling everyone, he couldn't even spell. And he's an, what is he? He's an editor. I think editor is his title. Yeah, editor. <laughs> but he seems to have regained the use of his mental faculties and he lives he's single his parents are elderly so I don't know I hope he has someone to help him if he needs help okay 36 so that's three. If I, I might put a tab on those. Um, 
and I'm going to fix that white edge before I take the photos. So, but that is, um, I suppose I should show you how it fits in a book. Let's try this one out because I didn't test it last night. Last night I was down here in the audio and my tablet bit the dust, the speaker. Which is great. Just what I need. So there, isn't that cute? I think the square is cute. That's why I wanted to try it because you don't always need a long one to fix that cracking paper too. Michaels, I believe that came from Michaels. That particular pad that I still haven't run out of. So there you go, there's that one. I could still use a little something, a little bow or something. But I'll finish decorating these, fixing the white edge. But there you go. Hidden paper clip. Nice little, someone wanted them for a swap or something like that. Nice little um, Happy Meal to send. Okay, thanks everyone for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and uh, have fun making these hidden paper clips. Bye.